USB. Okay. You know, Joe, I was really fascinated when I was reading up about you to learn that you're, you're actually a pretty accomplished uh, singer and you had recorded some albums under the name Joe Ritchie. Uh -huh. uh, how uh, big a deal for you when your first album came out for you? It was a real big deal. I was very happy and excited thinking, you know, that I, something had finally paid off for me. But I had singles out before that, maybe about five or six that were under different names and different styles of singing. And I finally settled on doing an album. I mean, a jazz blues album that I wanted to do was the way I wanted to sing. You know. what, did the, what did the music, the singing career, teach you about show business? Oh, wow. Well, it teaches you to be ready for rejection. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing. You know, one thing every actor seems to do is have an interesting job while they're waiting for the big break. Right. Uh, you were a hairstylist for a while, right? I was a hairstylist. Yeah. I was a, a mailman, a yeah. mail carrier. Um, Jesus, I had a million jobs. Yeah. Produce manager. Well, how good of a hairstylist were you? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah I, I think I was a pretty good hairstylist. Yeah. I mean, some of my old customers still ask me for haircuts and, <laughs> and styles when I see them. Well, what did you learn about dealing with people uh, with that job? Did you learn like, a lot of diplomatic skills with that? Exactly. <laughs> really. That's one thing you really learn. That's right. I wonder where I got my tact from. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I interviewed one of your uh, former co-stars, Daniel Stern, uh, not too long ago, and talked uh -huh. about how, how adults and children will react to an actor for different roles. Right. Uh, how do kids react to you uh, from the Home Alone films? What kind of interesting reactions do you get from them? Well, whenever I see them in airports or something, they, they usually come up and they're staring. And then I say to them, uh, would you let me rob your house if your family left you home alone? And some of them, some of them say yes, and they give you the address. And then there's other ones that just, uh, you know, say no. And I said, well, would you beat me up like that kid did? And they said, no, I do karate. Boom, and they start kicking you. You know, <laughs> their parents teach them karate at four and five years old. Yeah. You know, um, I love the scene in the beginning of this movie when you're on the airplane and you're kind of the seatmate from hell for the, the oh, passenger wow. next to you. Really? Uh, how do you deal with it when you have the seatmate from hell next to you when you're on a flight? Wow. I'm, let me think about that for a second. I, don't, I really don't know. It's, that's, it's hard to turn people off sometimes and shut them out. You're hoping that there's another seat where you can go sit you know, and ask the stewardess if you can move. That kind of thing. Usually I don't travel alone, though. I'll travel with somebody so I don't have that problem. And I sit up front where there's only two seats. <laughs> if I had to get in the back again where there's three and four across, I don't know what I would do. Yeah. Know that feeling. I <laughs> might kill somebody. I <laughs> might turn into one of those characters. Okay. Well, well, the duffel bag, a, a great prop, you know, for what was inside them. Uh, yeah. How did people on the set react to the duffel bag and the and the heads? Did they just become props after a while? Oh yeah, they, was, they would just treat it like you know property. That's all it was. They moved them around like plants. <laughs> <laughs> Got a question uh, on Saturday Night Live. I don't know if you've seen the uh, the Joe Pesci show uh, uh -huh. parody that they do. Yes. Uh, it's uh, quite often quite funny. Uh -huh. um, they, they quote a lot of your lines from past movies. Right. How often do people walk up to you and start reenacting scenes from films and quoting dialogue from past movies? And what do you do when that happens? Well, it happens a lot, you know, and it's, 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 uh, it's well intended and when well meant. They just don't know that it happens so much, you know. So uh, most people just. Uh, the one that I like is when they come up to me and they do the Raging Bull line that De Niro said and they ask me if I f their wife. I like that one. <laughs> and I usually respond, hasn't everyone? <laughs> I, get a lot of, I get a kick out of that one. Your listeners would probably like that one too, I think. <laughs> okay.